Hey, how's it going guys? Chris Hart here, Sold Out Servant. Today we'll be going over goals versus systems. Sold out servants, and you know we've been working. We serving, we earning. The watches is hurting. Serve to earn, baby. What you know about leadership? Start small, build up. Takes a team to win a championship. Big heart, but it started with Chris. Seen a lot when it comes to this biz. Don't serve, don't earn. They gotta shift keys to be a capitalist. Sold out servants. I was always told as a young man, Hey, set goals in life. If you want to be an achiever, you know, go to college. You write your goals down in a sheet. Um, at a, a company I once worked at, we had something called Smart Goals, right? Specific, measurable, um, attainable, realistic, and time-bound goals, right? And I was told that's the best way to accomplish what you want in life. As I got into business, I started developing and growing. I realized that, man, as I accomplished certain goals, I realized that certain behaviors allowed me to be successful. And it wasn't always the goal I set, it was the behavior, the action that I took daily that got to that goal. So let's analyze today the difference between setting goals and implementing systems in your life. And it can work anywhere in your life. It can be in your business, it can be in your marriage, it can be with your kids, it can be with your health, your faith, anything, guys. Let's discover it for a second here. So. The first goal we have is this here. One of the common goals that people come across is that they want to lose weight. They want to shed down for the summer, guys. It's getting hot outside. Go to the beach, get a six pack, looking good, right? How do we lose weight? We set goals. I want to lose 40 pounds. I want to lose 10, 15 pounds. I want to cut 5% body fat, right? So let's check it out for a second. So a goal may be for you, hey, Chris, I want to lose 20 pounds within the next three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah, I got to finish my wedding dress. Okay, that's a lot of weight. How is it possible? What do we normally do? We set a goal, we, 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 we write it down, we, we put it on the wall, this is our goal, we're gonna make it happen. We wake up motivated the first day, we're drinking water, we're eating healthy meals. We have no routine, no system to accomplish that goal, what happens? Unless you have crazy willpower, you fail. Most of us don't possess crazy work ethic or willpower. We need system. So, you may say, well Chris, I want to cut 30, 20 pounds in three weeks. How do I do so? How about I put a system in place? If I commit to this system, 30 minutes of cardio three days a week. I do cardio every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for 30 minutes. 25 minute runs five days a week. Every evening before going to bed, or when I get home from work, I run for 25 minutes. I don't measure how fast I run, I just run 25 minutes. And I eat three healthy meals every day. Maybe I subscribe to a, a automatic uh, meal prep system or a program that sends me three healthy meals every single day. Okay, perfect. If you run for 25 minutes, five days a week, if you have 30 minutes of additional cardio every single week, if you have three healthy meals a day, chances are you'll achieve that goal. But what do you focus on? Do you focus on losing the 20 pounds? No, you focus on sticking to the system that allows it to happen. Next one we have is here. We have, I want to write a book by the end of the year. That's a lot of work, right? So you set this goal, man. I'm writing a book in 2021. I'm starting off strong in January. You're motivated in January. You're moving. February comes. Life happens. March is here. Spring break. What's going on? You fall off. How about you implement, implement a system or implement a system to make it happen? So here, Write for 60 minutes every, every weekday at 8 a.m. You have a system in place, man. You got your coffee routine. Boom, you get up out of bed at 8 a.m. You go into your office. Your coffee's there. Typewriter's there, right? Old school typewriter maybe, or maybe a laptop. And you start writing for one hour. And you do it every day of the week. You're not worried about timetables. What do you just say? Like, I'm going to write for 60 minutes a day. That's my goal. That's my system. What happens? You look up. Oh, I got this content written out, man. I'm, I'm gaining traction, I'm gaining momentum. And then you get more motivated because you're getting success and momentum's happening because it's a part of what you do. And when, you, and when, you're, when the, the book company says, hey, the deadline's gonna be me, hey, the bit, deadline's here. The book's, the book's written, it's done in six months. How'd that ha happen? I just wrote every single day for 60 minutes, no matter what happened in life. Another example here. I want to make a million dollars a year. <laughs> Who doesn't want to make a million dollars a year, right? That's a crazy goal. I've seen these young guys in business say, hey, I'm gonna be a millionaire by age 25. Okay, that sounds great. I'm gonna make half a million dollars a year by six months. Okay, great. Those are great goals you're setting. How are you gonna do it? What's your system? Let alone product or business or your industry, what's your system to make a million dollars a year? You gotta have a system in place. So maybe you say, you know what, Chris, I know 
if I read for 60 minutes three times a week. Some of the most successful CEOs in America read books. They average, they average over 50 books a year read. If I read for 60 minutes three times a week, if I can find a mentor, somebody who's already making a million dollars, who I can kind of maybe glean from his mindset or her mindset and learn from them, I can lunch that millionaire mentor once a week. If I read books, I grow as a leader, I develop in business mindset, sales skills, concepts. I'm being mentored by a person who's making a million dollars a year once a week. What will happen to me? My identity will increase because of the books I'm reading and my associations and what happens? Eventually, the identity goes up, the income follows. Before you know it, you're a millionaire. And guys, I've seen this happen in so many facets of my life. Guys, personally, personally, I took a journey about six months ago to start working out. I'm in my mid-30s, I'm, like, I'm young, I'm healthy, but you know what, I could be a little more healthier. So I went to my gym, I said, hey, to my personal trainer, I said, hey, I wanna work out three days a week. You have any goals? I have no goals. I just wanna come in here, and you kick my butt for 60 minutes, I lift weights, I stretch, I gain some strength here and there, maybe some endurance, get healthy your lungs, who knows what happens. But I got a feeling that if I'm working out hard for 60 minutes, three days a week, something's gonna happen in my body. Guys, I'm working out, no goals. I'm working out, no goals. I'm working out, no goals. Guys, I lost two inches in my waist. Two inches lost. I'm like, babe, I'm like, man, two inches lost. Yeah, this is crazy. I, I had no goal, guys, to lose inches in my waist, to cut fat. But it just happened because I worked out three days a week with a personal trainer. I'm walking around, my, my shirts fit better. You know, when your shirts are snugging right here, like, because the biceps are getting bigger, biceps are getting bigger. I'm um, losing weight. I'm cutting down body fat. I'm getting more flexible. Hips are loosening up as I get older. Hips are getting looser. Why is that? Because I didn't set a goal, guys. I said, I'm going to implement a system. A system that allows me to get in shape. One more example. One more example. My wife and I aren't communicating as much. How do we increase um, our communication in our marriage? How do we increase our bond? I mean, we've been married 10 years this year. 10 years. Oh, we have a goal to um, strengthen our marriage and to make it better. That's our goal. I think everyone wants to strengthen their marriage and create more harmony in marriage, right? What's the system to make it happen? What's your system? Okay, our system is this. We'll do date nights. Date nights every other week. Boom. We're busy in business. Guaranteed date nights every other week. Okay, perfect. We'll do lunch twice a week. So lunch, I know, hey, I'm going to lunch. Hey, baby, you ready? Okay, heading to lunch. Let's talk. Let's communicate. Because before we didn't have that. So our system is lunch twice a week, a date night every three weeks, and a getaway every quarter. So every quarter we go to Cancun, we're going to the Poconos, we're going somewhere, we're going to Bora Bora next month. We get away every quarter, guys. I'm telling you, if you want to improve communication in your marriage, if you were to lunch your wife or your husband twice a week, date night every two weeks, and get away every quarter, what takes place there? More communication, better harmony in marriage, on your setting, settings, putting things together for your family, we have systems for everything we do. From our diet, we have food prep. Guys, I don't worry about um, making goals for what I eat. I just subscribe to a food prep system that sends me food every single week and I eat it. So, with that being said, Chris Hart here, Sold Out Servant. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you, I'll see you soon.